Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool, or Nintendo Bruce here, and we are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels for the Xbox 360, with probably the strangest deck recipe I have ever created. This shouldn't work, but it does, and I'm so glad it does, because it's probably the most original thing I've seen out there since my Dark Horus deck. So, yeah, I'll go through what it's supposed to be about first, okay, because that'll make uh, the choices that you see in here a bit easier to understand. And then we'll go through what the monsters are, the spells, the traps, and a few other combos if I've missed any. So, you can tell by the name, this is the Blue Exotage deck. It's the only thing I can think of. It's so random, it, it doesn't really even have a deck name. You could call it dot 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 or exclamation mark, question mark, whatever you fancy, because it's so out there. The deal is, there's so many ways to OTK an opponent in this deck, and it uses a combination of either Montage Dragon, with tributing a whole load of high level monsters to finish off in one hit, special summoning as many blue eyes white dragons as possible, that's another way to do it, or there's also Exodius, which for those of you that don't know, when it's summoned out and you attack, you can send a normal monster to the graveyard and it gains a thousand attack. And depending how many you special summon out, plus the uh, essentially the monster reborning effects I've got in here, it's just a stupidly mad deck. So it's all about brute strength for this deck, no real cunning strategies, but you have to have the right cards. And on that front, this deck can throw a few blinders in terms of first hands, i.e. all tribute monsters and stuff, but that's like any high based deck you're going to get, like dragons, etc, etc. So with that, I'll go through the monsters and we'll take it from there. So, starting off, one Archfiend Soldier, normal monster, 1900 attack, 1500 defense. It's a dark type, that's the main reason why he's in there. Otherwise, there would be a third Gene Warped Warwolf in here. Three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Now, I've mentioned about summoning as many Blue Eyes White Dragons as possible, so you don't really, you won't be tribute summoning with this. You'll just be special summoning it out the graveyard and yeah, just destroying things. Simple as. As already mentioned, I've got two other Gene Warped Warwolves in here. They are Earth type, so that's the reason why there's only two and not all three. Same with the Summon Skull. This would have been a Frostosaurus, but for just the 100 difference and it being a 2500 attack monster, which still runs over a lot of other six star monsters, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And again, it's a dark type for the uh, Chaos Sorcerer, which you see right here. You guys know what this uh, thing does by now. Same with the Cyber Dragon, it's a special summon. Dark Arm Dragon, special summon, destroy stuff and go for the all out attack. Now, 3 Exodius the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. I've already mentioned the brief effect of it, and this is the only deck that. I, well, there is someone I've seen play a deck with Exodius before, but that was like a completely out there deck where it shouldn't have been in there. Its other effect, uh, you guys might or might not know, is if you dump all the Exodia pieces in the graveyard from its effect, then you automatically win the game. But this is all about brute strength, and bearing in mind it's a special summon by shoving the monsters from your graveyard back into your deck, it is possible to summon out all three, say you use Foolish Burial, slash Trading, slash whatever to get all three out, and then you'll start off attacking, the first one will be at 1000, the next one will be at 2000, and the next one will be at 3000, and when it's the opponent's turn, you'll have three monsters at 3000 attack, uh, unless you're using certain other cards anyway. So that's Exodius. Two Montage Dragon, again for those of you guys that don't know, you have to release three monsters from your hand to special summon it, so again it's another special summon, and it gains the level, well the amount of stars used times 300 as attack points. And because it's at zero defense, it's not going to get smashing ground very often either, same with the Fissured. So say you release all three Exodius, or even two Exodius and a Blue Eyes, that's over 8000 life point damage, and if you've got a clear field, you're going to destroy the opponent, one turn kill. So fantastic. And there's only two because your hand can be really strange at times. So say you can bump into an Exodius, a Blue Eyes, a Montage, and then just spells and traps, and then you can't really summon anything. So that's what I'm talking about in terms of this habit of throwing up random hands. But two is fine, and like any deck, you're going to have random hands from time to time. 
One more thing jar, so speaking of random hands, this would clear through your hand as well as give you other things to use for a one turn kill, say. Plus, if you're clearing your hand, more than likely you're going to be dumping Blue Eyes White Dragons and you're going to be able to special summon with the card you pick up from Morphing Jar. So, although Morphing Jar is a, a, could help your opponent, in this deck it's all about finishing in one turn. So, whatever is in your opponent's hand, it's not going to help. Plague Spreader Zombie, that's, self, you know, that's obvious. If it gets dumped in the graveyard from Morphing Jar or Snipe Hunter's Effect, then whatever. It, it can still be used. Sangan. One Snipe Hunter, uh, Hunter? Sorry, One Snipe Hunter. Its effect will be used either Plague Spreader Zombie or the White Stone of Legend, and then you get another card in your hand, so Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, yeah, so it's a combination of using destroying effects and refreshing your hand to what you want. So it's not it's not just a one trick pony. It, you know, it, when people see Snipe Hunter, they think, oh, that's just there to destroy. It's all luck based. No, this one's actually got a good use in this deck. One Spirit Reaper can be debatable, but again, with depending on your hand, it can save you. So definitely have one of these. And then two White Stone of Legend. I wouldn't really run three just because there isn't the space for it. There really isn't. So run two of these. Again, it can be sent from your hand with Morphing Jar, Snipe Hunter, get a blue eyes in your hand. Or it can be used as an easy tune to say get uh, Black Rose. Yeah, Black Rose Dragon out. I don't know why I started there. So yeah, that'll get Black Rose Dragon out, clear the field, and then you can montage it up or special summon the blue eyes, etc. etc. Again, many, many uses here. So that's the monsters. I hope you've kept up, because again, this is the strangest deck I've ever made. So one brain control, that's obvious. Card destruction if you've got rubbish hand. One foolish burial. Two, again, there isn't the room in this deck. It is a shame, but there really isn't the room. One giant tunade. Actually, let's go back to foolish burial. Remember, white stone legend, blue eyes for the special summoning, uh, or get a light or dark in there for chaos sorcerer. This can be used for more than one thing, so think carefully about your situation and use it from there. Glad I said that, because otherwise you guys would be like, oh, foolish burial, uh, plague spreader, you know. So, Giant Trenade, Heavy Storm to clear the field for that OTK. Mind Control can be used for clearing their one monster on the field if you're going second, or again for tuning, etc, etc. You, you guys know what this does by now. Monster Reborn, Mystical Space Typhoon, two Swing of Memories. I am the only guy I have seen ever play this in this game. I've never come across this before, so for those of you guys that don't know, special summon a normal type monster in your graveyard and it gets destroyed at the end of the turn. If you have this and a monster are born, or if you have montage out, you know, you've sent blue eyes white dragon to the graveyard and then you use swing of memories, OTK, it's an OTK. Honestly, the success rate of finishing your opponent in one hit is extremely high with this, it's just getting that right hand and that right scenario. So definitely run two of those. Remember, besides Blue Eyes, it could be used for Gene Warped Warwolf or Summon Skull as well. Two trade-in, just in case that montage or Blue Eyes isn't good in your hand. One Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. This is debatable, but I have found it helpful. So not only... Oh, well, I'll tell you the effect first for those of you guys that don't play it. You discard a card, i.e. Plague Spreader, Whitestone Legend, or anything else. And the monster it's equipped to can attack twice, but its attack is reduced by 500. So remember, if your blue eyes is up against a Magillatron or something like that, then put it on your opponent's monster and they they take the 500 loss. And again, with a, a double attack, if it's on your monster with a blue eyes or a montage, that's game. That is simple game. Now, going on to traps, simple stuff here. Mirror Force to clear the field, three Solemns because you don't want your OTK being reversed, and Torrential Tribute again to clear their side of the field. And that is the basis of the blue exotage deck. So, I don't blame you if you guys have any questions. Again, I'll go through the rest like the extra and side deck, but feel free to put any comments in the section below. I can't stress enough if you don't, if you can't get to grips with this deck, because it's so weird. Um, extra deck, nothing special. Uh, I don't know why Ancient Fairy Dragon is in here. Um, there's an armory arm. You might want to consider a second armory arm because of the White Stone Legend being a one star tuner. Two Black Rose, Colossal, Dark Strike, Boyo, Iron Chain, two Magical Androids. Again, Power Tool Dragon. I was messing around with this deck. That doesn't need to be in here. That could be replaced with a third Magical Android. 
Red Dragon Archfiend, two Stardust, and good old Chimeratic Fortress Dragon. Because you never know, you guys know I love this, and I always say run one. Even if you don't have anything, you, you just you you know put it in there. Okay, side deck. So this is going more on the Exodia basis, and I've never had a use for this side deck yet. But if you feel like changing up, then here you go. So all the Exodia pieces. Card Trooper, in case you want to dump things in the graveyard and hopefully use Swing of Memories with it, etc. Two Lure of Darkness. Three Diffusion Wave Motion. So this is another OTK, but with an Exodia way. You can use this, you pay a thousand life points, select Exodius, and if your opponent's field is swarmed to the max, slash you've used Pajama Trio and they've got two other monsters, then that's five attacks because you attack everything with this card and you get all five pieces of Exodia in the graveyard. Yeah, done. Just like that. Uh, two Gold Sarcophagus if you want to search for things, Crush Card Virus, and as we've already said, a Jama Trio. So, there we have it. Blue Exotage. The strangest thing I have ever made. I don't think I'm going to make anything stranger than this. And when I do get my new PC up and running, hopefully I'll have something on the actual ban list which could be used. Uh, to be fair, there's not a lot of banned stuff in here. Well, apart from the Solons, but whatever. So, on that front, as I've already mentioned, put in your comments in the section below. Give this deck a whirl. It is stupidly original. The most original thing I've seen on here. And obviously give us a good old thumbs up if you like what you see, or if you're too scared to try it. And uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So, for now, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon.